Hey guys, welcome back to a brand new video. So today we're going away for the night, guys. We're just treating ourselves. We're going away. I'm starting work next week, like full-time work. I mentioned this before that I got a job, but I'm only working Monday to Wednesday. And then um, I'm doing makeups like Thursday to Sunday. So I can still book everybody in for makeups them days. Plus if there's like a formal or something, she's like allowing me to like change my day. So like work like a Wednesday or something if I need to. Guys, I have no idea why the camera's shaking so much. It's sitting on my like driving steering wheel. So that's obviously why, but I've definitely said it on there before and it hasn't shook that much. So it, like this, it's not a shaky video. It doesn't like keep going on like this, but just for this clip, it's a bit shaky. So try to like pretend that like it's not shaking, you know? So I'm going to go away tonight because um, like it's my last few days because I'm working at the weekend and then I like start work next Monday. So then I'll be like working Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, and then basically every single day. Um, so yeah, let's do it guys. We're gonna go to the Grand Central. Yeah, so guys, we're going to the Grand Central, me and you. Let's freaking go, guys. Um, I'm gonna switch over my camera now because this phone like capacity isn't great. Look what I did, burnt myself today on the pan. Don't know if it's obvious, but yeah, I did. And then you cut my nails, die. These are disgusting. Right guys, so getting a coffee right now, going to establish. Um, don't know if I spoke about this. New favorite in Belfast, but have to pay for a parking, which is some shit. 90p for half an hour. Which is honestly just rude like paying for parking on the street number one shouldn't be a thing but if it's going to be a thing guys don't charge me um 90p do you know what i mean if no one knows where it's at it's literally beside mumbai um 27 across from sanan square like literally right across the street from the dumpling library which i would really like to try that dumpling library sometime because i like that sort of stuff but yeah let's go get a flat why without milk guys right okay or I thought I was actually, I was thinking I would get a flat white, but mostly I'd get a nice latte. But if I'm sitting in, I want a flat white. Do you know what I mean? Right, guys, so here's our review. Mm. Absolutely fucking deadly. And if you don't know, Establish is like a place where a lot of like actual coffee places get their beans from. I think Middleton get their beans from here. They're like roasters as well. Gorge. Right, so on route walking, how to park somewhere else because there's no parking spaces in the hotel. But it's a really nice day, it's like 11 degrees. No rain. Well, it's a wee bit raining actually. Um, anyway, if you weren't, if you weren't from Belfast, it's actually, you'd actually think this place is nice. Not that it's not nice, but like, do you know what I mean? Okay guys, so I just got here and I'm gonna give you a bit of a room tour. The room's not massive, but it's really nice. So when you walk in, uh, my belly button's out, we've got um, Amar wardrobes, and then this is the bathroom. The bathroom's so nice. Uh, a big, like, I really like this mirror. It's like really good lighting. A big bath, the shower is huge. Like really big. And then, okay, so and here is the rest of the room. The bed is absolutely, mad. like the bed is so big. It literally looks like two doubles pushed together. It's absolutely huge. Just ignore my shit sign everywhere. And then here is like a wee like, drinks thing. There's no fridge in the room, which is so weird, but whatever. No fridge, wee seats and all, gorge. Obsessed with the bed, look at this view. It's actually low key a bit scary, I'm not gonna lie. Yep, so here's the view from the window. I'm on the 21st floor, which is like really fucking high guys, I'm not gonna lie, and I'm actually really scared of heights, but the view is so nice. Oh, oh my god, so scared. So anyway, just checked in um, there now, it's like 4 o'clock, uh, not actually hungry yet, I'm gonna get a booze in my tank, and then gonna go to the cinema later, but for now I'm probably just gonna chill for a while, um, enjoy the room. I have access to that observatory, like the bar, but I don't think I want to any drinks. 
So you probably won't even go and I don't have any clothes to go there. Is it not like pure fancy? I've seen people go to it and they dress pure fancy and all. I'm not in the mood. That's not the vibe for today. So, yeah. I'll show you around the rest of like the hotel, like the lobby and all. The lobby's really, really nice as well. Um, but I'll show you that when I like go downstairs. Because uh, I did just kind of, not that I couldn't show you when I was on the way up. But you know when you just rather like sort yourself first before you start like getting the camera and filming over him and you've got like a pile of bags. So, yeah. Right, I'm gonna show you a wee bit of the hotel. So this is like the lobby from the room. It's actually really pretty. And then you go in here to the lifts. It's really big. And we're going down, down, down. We are going down. Anyway. Nope. This is a lovely big lift. Gorge. It's absolutely massive. As long as you love me. Okay, so this is reception. So you can go through that. I'll just show you like a brief because there's like obviously loads of people about. Well, actually, it's not like anybody. So I think in there's like the restaurant or something maybe. And then just like lobby vibes. Look how nice these like things are. Gorge. So guys, it is starting to get dark and I am starting to get very hungry. I really want a boojum. I don't really want a boojum. I really want a Nando's. I love Nando's, but uh, the, uh, gift voucher, a gift voucher. A gift voucher for boojum. So we're going to boojum. So let's get ready and go to boojum, guys. It's like nearly six o'clock. Cinema's at half eight. Um, I was going to... Oh, I forgot to say, I did my phone charger. So no charger. So really, you know, detached from the world tonight. Um, I'm not even going to go buy one, I'm just going to go buy one and I thought fuck it, like I'm literally only going away for a day so like I don't need to be on my phone. Um, I just, the only thing is the cinema's booked on my phone so I hope that, I wrote down my barcode number so I hope that they like accept my barcode number. If it is on like 10% and I put it on flight mode so that it would stay like not dying. And I know when you do these videos, you're meant to get room service, guys, but do you know what? I don't want an 18 pound margarita pizza. And the room service in here isn't actually that wide big. It's actually quite small. Um, but I just, I don't want a margarita pizza. If you went to the hand party, you know you know. Actually, that the margarita pizza was 18 pound and a 10 pound delivery fee for room service. Like a 28 pound for a margarita pizza. I honestly don't know why anyone gets room service. Like, how lazy do you have to be to spend a tenner, like ten pounds? Like, if I went and got a margarita pizza, the pizza in general wouldn't even be ten pound. Never mind, ten pound just to get it to your room, and then eighteen pound for the like. No, I just, I, I just don't understand why that is a thing. So, yeah. you know, I am a botanic three and three bougie girl, but it's literally in the back of this building, the one across from Europe. The room is like literally right there. So it's pure handy to the town, like. Okay, guys. Oh my god. So good. My burrito is soaking. Like, my burrito always be like, soaking wet. Ten ten Yora Bay from Shoreditch. Guys, that could dead ass be one of the nicest bushings I've ever had. Like, I would give it a solid 9, nine out of 10. I'm just kind of enjoy it. I'm just going to walk about because my, um, I've still got like an hour, maybe even two hours to my cinema. So, yeah. Oh, I forgot. I had the gift voucher and the gift voucher didn't work, so they gave me the vision for free. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Okay guys, so just waiting for the screen to be ready. This is the hall for the food. Don't know if I can film because I think the phone's gonna die. But a Lipton iced tea, peach. The lemon one is nice too, but it's not my favorite. And then Gatorade, cool blue, which is like blue raspberry one. And then, 
Oh my god. I just spilled all of the all these sweets in the ground, guys. Literally all over the ground. Love that. Okay guys, so just back from the cinema, Scene Uncharted, I think it's called. I'd probably give it like a 5 out of 10. Like it wasn't bad, but like I wouldn't like urge you to go see it. Like, do you know that sort of way? I'm pretty sure it's 11 o'clock. Phone is dead, 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 dead to the world. Stopped in McDonald's on the way home, gone Mike Plant. Seen a rat. Literally seen a rat on the way home. So I'm probably not going to sleep tonight. But yeah, just wanted to check in before I go to bed. I'm just a wee bit hungry, so I've got a Mike Plant. I'm not going to lie guys, Mike Plant. Like this looks like the most dead shit I ever seen. Look at this unmelted fucking wet cheese. I'm not even gonna lie guys, this kinda looks fucking disgusting. I don't know if it's because it's like 11 at night and I went to the one in city center, obviously like shit, like nighttime vibes, but I had to throw that in the bin. Like that was literally disgusting. Like the wee patty wasn't even cooked. The cheese, oh my God, I actually sick. And you just know I've had that before and I liked it. <clears throat> I don't know about y'all, but that shit. Bend. I'm gonna get a bath and then I'm gonna go to bed. See you in the morning. See you in the morning, guys. Okay. Guys, so time to check out. Literal shit, my hair is so greasy, but I've got a trim tonight, so there's no point washing it. But time to check out. It's literally 11 01, so I'm gonna check out at 11. Just been lying in bed because. The bed is literally the comfiest thing ever. I had the best night's sleep ever. My phone's been dead for ages, so I'm gonna go to Jammer Marston now and get food. Uh, I don't know how I'm gonna do, how I'm gonna film it because I don't really want to bring my camera in because it's embarrassing. So if I don't, oh, I was gonna say if I don't film it, I'll send a photo. I can't. My phone's literally dead. But anyway, I'm trying to. I'm gonna go to the one in East Belfast, and I've got my laptop up for directions because. I have no phone, don't know how to get to East Belfast from here. It seems pretty straightforward, like, but just in case, you know. The stress, guys. So that is the end of this video. Like, just ignore it. The fucking knees is on, like, I don't even watch the knees, it's just on. Yeah, so that's the end of this video, and I hope you all enjoyed it. It was like, it feels like it was not rushed, but like, I'm very all over the place just because, I don't know, I booked that uh, really last minute. Like, I booked it in the morning and then went that, like, that day. Maybe I booked it at like one and left at like three. So before three, but half two. So it was really like rushed. Not rushed, but like I just felt like I didn't like set the camera down and like talk enough. Um, I think because my phone was dead, it was kind of hard because obviously I filmed most of stuff on my phone because my camera is literally like, you just know the size of my camera. Like I'm not bringing that into like anywhere. It's so embarrassing. But anyway, I went to General Merchants, got a Magic, absolutely gorgeous coffee. Um, General Merchants is like one of the best coffees. It and Establish is like my two favourites and Output Espresso as well in Lisbon Road. And then I got I got the Veggie General, which was really, really nice. But if you're ever in General Merchants, right? So like General Merchants has like I think there's five different ones, like including the hatch and the town. Um, but the one in East Belfast, I think, has the most like food options. So that's why I went to the one in East Belfast. It's like, like the one of brunch or something. I got like a veggie general, which was really, really good. But see the avocado toast out of East Belfast. And I've had it out of Ormer Road as well. And I included that in a video. And it was like a salsa sort of thing. And it had like nachos. East Belfast avocado toast is the best avocado toast ever. I don't know what they do with their avocado toast in general merchants. Like I think they put loads of lime in or something. It's so good. Um, it's my favorite place and then I went to Stormont for a walk and then I just came home I, and I couldn't film any of that because again I wasn't going to bring my 10 ton camera around um, yeah and I had do you know what it is right I really just urge people to like just take a day even if you don't go away for the day like even just like leave the house for a day and just leave your phone behind or turn your phone off and do not turn it on I can't describe the disconnect that I felt and it was like the nicest thing ever and the, the craziest thing about it was, is I came back, like, to look at my phone, thinking I would have all these messages, like, I didn't have anything, really, like, nothing that, like, was urgent, like, 
maybe I had one from everyone, but like not not shit that I needed to like urgently reply to. Like I would have like sent loads of Snapchats and like messages that like didn't need to be sent just because you like continuously are on your phone and you keep sending stuff that like, do you know what I mean? Oh, I just, I think from now on, anytime I go away, I think I'm just gonna turn my phone off. At least like I'll check it in the morning, maybe check it before I go to bed. But I definitely am like addicted to my phone. Like, and I didn't realize how much I was until I went away. And it's mad how like, how like much you, time you have with your thoughts. And it's just really healthy and your phone is really unhealthy and that's just my advice. So I hope you guys all enjoy this video and I'll see you next time.